how to master embroidery adhesives without headaches or problems. Hey everyone and welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. I'm Bailey from Z Digitizing, the world's best custom embroidery digitizing and vector art services provider company. We were recently asked to make a video about how to easily use embroidery adhesives without any issues. So here I am to help you master embroidery adhesives without headaches or problems. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and be sure to click on that bell icon below to get updated about all of our future videos. Embroidery adhesives play a crucial role in ensuring successful and flawless machine embroidery projects. Understanding the different types of adhesives available and learning how to use them effectively can greatly enhance your embroidery skills. In this comprehensive video guide, we will dive deep into the world of embroidery adhesives, covering everything from the types and application techniques and troubleshooting common problems. So get ready to unlock the secrets of mastering embroidery adhesives without headaches or problems. Types of embroidery adhesives. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different adhesives available. Adhesive number one, temporary embroidery spray adhesives. Temporary adhesive spray is a popular choice for securing fabrics to stabilizers during embroidery. It is typically aerosol based and provides a temporary bond that can be easily repositioned or removed without leaving residue. This adhesive is suitable for a wide range of fabrics and stabilizers and offers versatility in embroidery projects. Adhesive number two, adhesive back stabilizers. Adhesive back stabilizers have a layer of adhesive applied to one side, making them self-adhesive. They eliminate the need for additional adhesive application, simplifying the embroidery process. Adhesive backed stabilizers are available in various forms such as tear away, cut away, or wash away to accommodate different fabric types and embroidery requirements. Adhesive number three, heat activated adhesives. Heat activated adhesives require the application of heat, usually from an iron or a heat press to activate the adhesive properties. These adhesive bonds, the fabric and the stabilizer together when heated, creating a secure bond that remains permanent even after washing. Heat activated adhesives often used for applique work as they provide a strong bond for attaching fabric shapes to the base fabric. Adhesive number four, water soluble adhesives. Water soluble adhesives are designed to dissolve or wash away with water. They are commonly used for securing small applique pieces in place during embroidery. These adhesives provide temporary hold, allowing for precise placement and easy removal once the embroidery is complete. Adhesive number five, fusible web. Fusible web is a thin adhesive sheet or tape that can be activated by heat. It is typically used for applique work, allowing you to adhere fabric shapes to the base fabric permanently. Fusible web provides a secure bond and helps prevent fraying of fabric edges. Proper application techniques. Proper application techniques are crucial for achieving successful results with embroidery adhesives. Here are some detailed tips and techniques to help you apply adhesives effectively. Tip number one, preparing fabrics and stabilizers. Ensure that the fabric and stabilizer are clean and free from lint, dust, or wrinkles. Iron the fabric and stabilizer if necessary to create a smooth working surface. If using adhesive back stabilizers, remove the release paper from the stabilizer exposing the adhesive side. Tip number two, applying temporary spray adhesives. Hold the can of spray adhesive approximately six to eight inches away from the fabric or stabilizer. Maintain a consistent distance throughout the entire application. Spray the adhesive in a sweeping motion, covering the desired area evenly. Avoid overspraying, as this could lead to excessive adhesion and potential staining of your fabric. For fabrics with delicate or loose fibers, it's advisable to test the adhesive on a scrap piece first to ensure it does not discolor or damage your fabric. 
Tip number three, using adhesive backed stabilizers. Align the adhesive side of the stabilizer with the fabric, ensuring that the adhesive area covers the intended embroidery area. Smooth the stabilizer onto the fabric, starting from the center and working outward to remove any air bubbles or wrinkles. Use a roller or your hand to firmly press the adhesive back stabilizer onto the fabric, ensuring proper adhesion. Troubleshooting common adhesive problems. Troubleshooting common adhesive problems in machine embroidery is essential for overcoming challenges and achieving flawless results. Here are some detailed tips to help you address common adhesive issues. How to deal with uneven adhesive application. Ensure that you hold the spray adhesive can or nozzle at a consistent distance from the fabric or the stabilizer throughout the entire application process. Use a steady sweeping motion while spraying to achieve even coverage. Pay close attention to the edges and corners of the embroidery area to ensure adequate adhesive application. How to handle adhesive not holding fabric securely. Double check that you have applied enough adhesive to create a strong bond between the fabric and the stabilizer. Ensure that the fabric and stabilizer are clean and free from any residue or oils that could affect your adhesion. Allow sufficient drying time as recommended by the adhesive manufacturer before proceeding with your embroidery. How to deal with excessive adhesion. If you find that the adhesive is too strong or causing excessive adhesion, reduce the amount of adhesive applied in the affected area. Adjust the distance between the spray can or nozzle and the fabric to control the amount of adhesive being applied to the fabric. Consider using a milder adhesive formula that provides sufficient adhesion without being overpowering to your fabric. Now we've reached our conclusion. Mastering and understanding the different types of embroidery adhesives is an essential skill for achieving professional looking results in machine embroidery. By understanding the various types of adhesives available, selecting the right adhesive for your project, as well as mastering proper application techniques, you can overcome common problems and ensure seamless embroidery every single time you work. Remember, practice makes perfect, so experiment with different adhesives and techniques to find what works best for your specific projects. With this comprehensive guide as your resource, you are well equipped to tackle any embroidery challenge with confidence and achieve remarkable results without the headaches or problems associated with adhesives. And as always, we hope this video was helpful for you in choosing embroidery adhesives. And always remember, if you want to digitize embroidery designs, you would need to use a professional like Z Digitizing, as digitizing is a very complex process. Z Digitizing is a digitizing embroidery company that provides complete digitizing and vector art services all over the world to businesses, industries, and corporations. So, if you need a digitizing or vector art service for your embroidery machine with a super fast turnaround and excellent quality, Z Digitizing will be your best choice. All you have to do is just click the link below and get a free quote in less than five minutes. We offer 50% off all of our services to our potential customers. We hope you enjoyed today's video and that you gained some knowledge and confidence in your embroidery projects. And as always, if there are any questions related to this video, you can simply ask them in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.